today we will see the muscles of the hand the lateral side of the hand is called as a thinar eminus and medial side of the hand is called as a hypothenar eminus the thinar eminus has three superficial and one deep muscle so let's see the thinar muscle most lateral muscle is called as a abductor pollicis brevis which originate from the flexor retinaculum trapezium and the scaphoid and insert at the base of the proximal phalanx of the thumb medial to that this is flexor pollicis brevis which also originate from the flexor retinaculum and the trapezium and insert at the proximal phalanx of the thumb deep to these two you will get aponens pollicis and which originate from the flexor retinaculum and it insert on the first metacarpal so this is about the three superficial thinar muscle let's see the deep thinar muscle that is a adductor pollicis adductor pollicis has one transverse head and one oblique head transverse head originate from the third metacarpal and oblique head at the base of the second and the third metacarpal bone and this insert at the base of the proximal phalanx of the medial aspect of the thumb let's see the hypothenar muscle most medial is a abductor digiti minimi origin from the pc form and the flexor retinaculum and insert at the base of the proximal phalanx of the digiti minimi this is flexor digiti minimi and deep to that is a aponens digiti minimi both originate from the flexor retinaculum so the abductor digiti minimi flexor digiti minimi and aponens digiti minimi the most superficial is a palmaris brevis which insert in the skin after the thinar and the hypothenar muscles we will see the lumbricus there are four lumbricus present in the head and it is number from the lateral side the lumbricus are attached or it originates from the flexor digitorum profundus tendon so first and the second lumbricus originate from the lateral side this is the first lumbricus you can see and this is the profundus tendon this is the profundus tendon and this is the first lumbricus this is the second lumbricus both first and second originate from the lateral side of the second and the third digit of the tendon and insert through the dorsal digital expansion the third lumbricus originate from the adjacent side of the tendon flexor digitorum tendon see you can see both adjacent side so that's why it is called as a bipinnate third and the fourth lumbricus are the bipinnate and this is the fourth adjacent side of the fourth and the fifth and it also insert through the dorsal digital expansion 